Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program with me, 1F HBL. Yeah, moving on. Okay, space station time, everybody. I know everybody's done it. Everybody who's figured out docking. Now I'm gonna do it. Although... I have other concepts that would also interest me, such as, specifically, I was inspired recently to try something like a carrier that would go places with stuff attached, like shuttles, tugs, probes, landers, those four, you know, the tugs and the probes would be unmanned, because, I mean, the tug, as in something with the clampy, grabby thing, I can grab objects that we want and stuff. And as you see, I've designed a space station control center. It's got the actual space station module on top. It's got communications antenna, lights. Lights are important. A habitation module with some solar backups and some thruster modules. And a big old battery. And that one battery is enough to power an entire solar... Uh, enough to power an entire space station. It won't be just that. And we're using the large docking ports, because I love these. I love the stability. Basically, if Jeff Major's uh, JSS Herp Snake had had this instead of the small couplers, it may have had the structural stability. Because it was, as a spacecraft, it was literally just a chain of fuel tanks with an engine at the front. So, you know, I might try a design like that and just... Off and off and cool people. So all we need is to get this bastard into orbit and start our space station. And I may do the space station over time. Like I'll do this, then I'll do other projects so I don't get burnt out. Or get boring. Now the question is, ooh, do I just do the big ass rocket? Yeah. We can make do with what we have. For the booster, we're gonna make I built it 
half a tank with a skipper, a full tank with a... No, half a tank with a poodle, full tank with a skipper, and then the big fuck off lifter stages. And I didn't even bother to asparagate it up, but I'm pretty sure that still gave us plenty to do everything that we needed to do. I want to put this in a good orbit. Might even make it a high orbit. That does make things more, you know, difficult. But... Of course, I could just copy the lifter stage from the other one, but... I think we'll be okay, everybody. I am not going to show all the launches for the space station, almost certainly. Show all the design work in the. Hard to decide what parts to cut, because essentially everything I do is boring, because I'm a boring person in this game. Okay, now we just. get a bunch of big bastards. without excess, which is actually not even correct. Should I get these down a little bit so the rocket's not resting on one thing? Because the launch assistance towers, they're nice, but it'd be nice to not need to use them. you guys even saw, but it is a little terrifying. Speaking of which, this is going to be loud. I need to check the settings. I noticed the space music was loud compared to me. Be jealous. I can't handle other things taking up the noise. He's up on it a little lower than really everything looks like, which is bad. Especially since they noticeably impact the front. 
big bastard boosters just give us so much with the main cells attached. We're going to go for 250,000. 250,000 on this side. Make it 235. That'll be our thing. And you see, we got so much fuel left to spare. Let's get this thing pushed over. I'm glad I got the RCS to, just to control the bastard.
All right, that's an orbit. You might just be in orbit. Polar relays at 390. Alternately, we could go for something low and to the flow, like 150 or something. What's the closest object to Kerbin? Is it 200,000? So if we tightened it up to 100,000, and you'll note we still have much fuel for that. Meeting my mic due to background noise sometimes, but that is a very stable, very nice looking orbit. I'll at least show the command center getting taken up, and then maybe, I don't know, design some more pieces. There's, there's stuff we can do with this. Okay. This thing says four seconds, I can trust it. Oh, god damn it. It's always... If you're the littlest bit off, then too bad. You must suck. LOL. Which is probably how real rocket science is. Except way more so than some nerd trying to... how to slip an orbit together. Oh good, and I made it eccentric. Goody. Some eccentricity. Are you pointed in retrograde? No. I don't want 103. I want 100. Things should be even. I'm a Dwarf Fortress player. You know what that means. Where are 
this thing is unwieldy. I wonder why. It's probably really heavy. If we went to the Space Center, we could get a thing, but I think the Orbital Fuel Depot came in at like 30 tons. Yeah, you move 30 tons around in space. Okay, we can fix... We can fix ourselves. We're just a gentlest little tap in the world. There we go. That was not difficult. The other one will also not be difficult. And I won't bother with the maneuver. We're just gonna... Yeah, I don't even care what the number is. I don't want to focus on the problem, I only want the solution. A banana's gonna put out a fire? I am just stealing from all the decent people today. Well, that's how I got started in Let's Play and see, you know, back to my roots. Just tell me when we're close to the thing, and I'll handle the rest myself. Alright, we are going at a decent clip. You know, that whole orbit thing? Yeah. Get ourselves pointed back around for a retro burn. <sighs> I'd love to correct this eccentricity with the next burn. How'd we do that? If we wanted to go up, then which direction would we have to point? That's really all I want to know. I think I see it. No, it's a smudge on my screen. But there it is. Seems like a very Kerbal line to say. Ah, I just spilled some coffee. Don't worry about that meteor, guys. Okay, this will help fix the eccentricity, maybe? I don't know what effect this will have on me, but uh, I meant to go for a Wellington reference and just kind of shot myself there. Also, we are so past the dead apoapsis thing. We's gonna burn any out, even though it's not gonna be even. Cause I am impatient. Yeah, we gotta wait till we go back around. That's not such a bad... Oh, shit. I didn't consider... The fact that you can't time warp as fast from here. That's... That'll be okay. We'll be okay. Everything will be just fine. Whoa. Even times 100 is very fast. Blink and you'll miss the, uh, the periapsis. I never remember which one is which. Okay, this time we're ready for you, you bastard. We are going to burn. 270 degrees. See, it's doing the thing. Okay, let's look. 101.99. Da -da -da. We can fix this. Okay. 100. Thrilling orbital fiddling. Also, notice wiggling this craft is sufficient because it's so fucking huge. Make a big difference. Also, because I'm spamming RCS thrusters. It also doesn't help. I'm hoping the wiggle dies down. Just give me a bit more. Just give me a bit more. Alright, that's looking pretty good. This is the kind of orbit I like. It's very close to the planet. Which means we don't need... 
we know this lifter stage works, and it works with enough fuel to get us probably docked and back. Maybe on that one. We're going with a maybe. Uh, anyhow, it works for this stage, that's for sure. So, this is where our command center is going to be. Fairly stable, fairly... I mean, that's still, you know, eccentricities aside, that's pretty good. That's not bad. Got a lot of shit in orbit. So we're going to leave the space station control center here. We're going to decouple and leave him with, like, nothing. Have fun up here, Bill. We'll see you sometime. As for you, RCS and I forget which one is the backup button. Uh, Alright, this thing doesn't have RCS thrusters, so that is pointless. So let's just get ourselves turned around. Just a little bump in space. Nothing major. Get ourselves cleared away from the, the, the control center so we don't damage it with our debris. And then we're just gonna get this thing pointed towards Kerbin. And, you know, prevent litter. Just put them like a bastard. This much fuel we could probably go in orbit the other direction. This is fine, though. Recklessly, too. Don't really care where I land because I'm not going to be focusing on this thing. See, we had plenty of fuel. We had this until we had this thing, and we had the transfer stage, which is what we'll use for like orbit docking, and we've seen that works. So all this fuel and all these complex parts, they're gone. You know how it is. Oh, and I don't need to go to the tracking station to tell how heavy stuff is now. That's cool. Yeah, that thing's going, I mean, fast. This thing alone is 7.25 tons. I don't know if that's counting you know, good old Bill in the cupola. Can I rename from here? That'd be nice. No, that's okay. Wait a second. You can do... Th Holy shit! Revolutionary, man. And do I want this thing pointed outwards or do I want to point it up? Essentially, doesn't matter. We'll have it pointed up, sure. Relative to, you know, the planet. We could even go on a little spacewalk. I kind of don't feel like doing that. <laughs> Whatever. We can extend one of the antenna. We can even ride this thing down a little bit. No, stop transmitting. I think it looks cool with just one of them extended. I don't know, this is a command module, right? In practical terms, this does nothing because we're not in career mode. Let's get this some light on this bastard. Kerbal Space Program. Extend you. Alright. Looking pretty cool. In my opinion, I don't know. I'm sure you guys could do better. And I encourage you to. Buy this game. <clears throat> Anyhow, the only other thing I wanted to do. There we go. 
I use that as a base, but it's not like a ground base. And we'll go ahead and call it the space station. Bam! Another cool thing successfully placed in orbit. Good work, everybody. Um, I need food. So, I'm gonna go get food and think up what to do next. Might even start the carrier mission next and literally do this piece by piece. Like, put a piece in every mission so that it doesn't get repetitive. Whatever. And things are oh, one more thing. IVA. Here's the, uh... Ooh, yeah. It's upside down. That's okay, though. That's still cool. This is the, uh... The actual, like, space station control module thing. <clears throat> and there's a habitation module down there with food and whatnot, so yeah. You're set up here, buddy. So I'll be back in a bit, everyone.